So this is section 5.6 and we just want to look at the argument of Z, a complex number. And, uh, and so pretty much what it comes down to is polar coordinates. I mean, you know, that's kind of how you, at least how I see it, um, is that, uh, you know, right if if we're thinking of uh z here then um right i can think of the triangle there's theta um and you know this was x out to here this was y and so this length is x cosine theta and this is y sine theta and uh, um, oh y x gosh sorry try that again okay this is r uh, if that length is r um, uh, then this is r sine theta and r cosine theta r squared is x squared plus y squared. All right, so this is just, it's really just polar coordinates is, is what we're talking about. And so, um, uh, theta though, you know, um, the argument arg z, uh, it's, it, it's any, uh, is any uh, real number, angle, however you want to think about it, real number, uh, such that, oops, such that uh, x equals r cosine theta and any real number theta. Uh, x equals r cosine theta and uh, y equals r sine theta. Okay, so the idea there, that, right, is we know from polar coordinates that we may find, you know, some theta, uh, but once we find that theta, um, we could always add some uh, multiple of 2 pi to it, uh, either you know, um, positive or negative. Uh, so k is an element of uh, the integers. Um, so, uh, you know, we can always do something like that. Um, now, the principle uh, argument of z uh, of z is uh, our theta um, between minus pi and pi. Okay, so um, so that would be the principal argument of z, and in that case, uh, that's now. Here's the funny part, right? I started a sentence here, so I used an uppercase A. Um, they point out that this is arg Z, and in general, you know, so maybe even though I started a, a sentence here with an uppercase letter, I should just use a lowercase letter for arg Z, okay? So I use a lowercase A if I just mean any possible theta that might work if I want uh, a theta between minus pi and pi, then I use an uppercase A for the arg uh, on there. And, and so we can, you know, we can write z equal um, x plus i y, or we could write it in polar form and write uh, our cosine theta plus i sine theta, oops, r, I forgot my r there, r sine theta, 
and then we could factor out the r and write it as r cosine theta plus i sine theta, like that. And so this is a uh, polar form. And that is the idea of the argument of uh, z. Okay, we'll stop there.